Ethan, another fantastic performance out there. Come from behind win. Just how's it feel to get another week? Oh, it feels great. We we just been putting everything out there, trying to get as much as we can to continue on with the season. Second straight week, or you, you found yourselves trailing at half. Just how are you able to turn the page and really get the offense clicking in the second half? Oh, uh, we just we got to keep our heads in it. We uh, we can't get down in our mind, and we just have to persevere and uh, execute what we need to do on the field. Great night offensively for you. Three touchdowns on the ground. Just what was working for you? How are you able to attack this Wayne defense? Um. Colton was really just making amazing reads out there. And then Josh Arns, he was running the ball hard. Justice Gorey, he was running the ball hard. James Getz, we were all just working together. We got a bunch of great blocks. We were just all working together and moving the ball. Just what does it say about this team that you had the ball with less than 90 seconds to go, but Coach mentioned, you know, you just kept doing your thing. And what does that say about this team that you can overcome that sort of adversity? Yeah, I, I just think that means we just – uh, we put our minds to things, and then if we want to get it, we can achieve it. We just never give up, and we just keep pushing and pushing until we get what we're, uh, we're striving for. You guys haven't won a sexual since 93. What makes this team different? Um, I say the brotherhood, probably the brotherhood on this team. We've all been playing together since around third grade, and we just all want to come together and win a sectional as a team, second time in history. And then like we've all alluded to here, Obviously amazing on the run today with the rushing attack. What made the rushing attack today so successful? I think it's just pushing it in uh, practice, getting those, uh, getting a bunch of reps in, making sure we have things to perfection. And then if some things don't work out when we come into the game, uh, we fix them and then we improve on that. Josh, outstanding performance again. Another come from behind win. Just how does it feel to advance another week? Uh, it feels amazing that we get to keep going. That's all I care about is keeping on going. How were you able to flip that switch in the second half? Obviously trailing once again, but you know you guys really found a way to get clicking in the second half. We just stick to what we do, and eventually we wear teams down with it. That's all we got to do. How about defensively? That Wayne offense was a bit hit or miss in the second half. What do you do defensively to really limit them? Uh, you play to your strengths. Like they're, they're a really good offense. They really are. But uh, you really just got to play to what you know how to play. So, I mean, you put your players where you can, and that's all you got to do. You, do your best against them. They're good offense. You get the ball back with less than 90 seconds to go, needing a touchdown to win. And for the second straight week, you're the guy that punches it in the end zone. Just how does that feel that you're the guy that is counted on to finish those drives? I haven't missed a practice in four years, and I think that's the reason. I'm always there, and I, I'm super excited that I'm the guy that they trust with that. It means the world. It really does. So it's your 18th birthday. You obviously got a big win. How else are you celebrating tonight? I'm going to bed. I am worn out, dude. I don't know if you saw, I was throwing up on the sideline a couple times. I'm worn out. I'm ready to go to bed. You know, that's all I'm doing. I, I was going to ask along those lines, you were just laying down in the field over there. What was going through your mind in that moment? I'm, I'm beat, but I was willing to keep going, no matter what. I, I'm just, I'm thrilled that we got the win. We could have gone another 14 quarters, and I still would have been in there trying my hardest. That's all, that's all we got to do. What went through your mind when you crossed the goal line in the last, last touchdown? Holy moly, I did it. <laughs> That's all I cared about was, holy moly, this team did it. You know, we drove down the entire field that quick. I was so proud of the team, the offensive line. It was a great team win. Well, Coach, another gutsy come from behind win. Just how's it feel to advance to uh, next week? It's awesome, man. It's uh, survive and advance. And, you know, I was just telling my guys that, you know, it's, it's kind of like that, that feeling out time, right? You know, you, you, you know, it's like you're nervous, right? You're probably like a high school junior, never asked a girl to prom before. All right, that's like what a sectional's like, right? It's a surviving advance. You're getting ready to lose, uh, and, 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 you know, you're trying to figure it out. You ask her out. She says yes, take her out for a nice dinner. You're out there, and uh, you know what ends up happening is you're like, oh, do I slow dance with her? Do I not slow dance with her kind of thing? And once you get it filled out, felt out, okay, um, uh, I'm not talking about her either. But uh, you, then you get to settle down and you get to get where, you, where you're at. And our guys started making plays. And I'm just excited and just, uh, just pumped for our guys. It's hard to believe this was a 14-7 to 7 game of the half. Just how, how were you guys able to turn the page in the second half and really get the offense rolling? Um, I think we just stuck to what we were doing. Um, you know, we knew that we stopped ourselves in the first half uh, and, and just uh, on three of those drives where we could have had some more points off. I told them to, uh, I just got in the, in the locker room, I told them to close their eyes, take a deep breath, and just have fun because this is high school football. This is what it's all about. Uh, and, you know, this is what's special about our tournament, right? You know, everybody can say, hey, not, oh, everybody gets into the tournament. No, they're one heck of a team uh, and just uh, proud of the way that they played and the way that our teams played, two, two very uh, 
uh, uh, great teams coming together on a Friday night, uh, giving us wonderful football. Going to that final drive, just uh, how were you able to execute, just knowing you had less than two minutes to go, but once again, found yourselves in the end zone? Yeah, I, I was, I, I, you know, there was some worry. But, uh, you know, having a minute 20 with three timeouts and, and knowing that they haven't stopped our run. Uh, and, and you know what? Go ahead. Back off of us and, and, and play some three deep. Uh, and then we just ran underneath it and uh, just proud of uh, just our, our kind of four-headed monster, five-headed monster of running backs uh, that just keep on clicking and, and our uh, seven guys on O-line and, and tight ends that keep on blocking. I guess you talked about that run game. They couldn't stop it the entire second half. Just what was working in the second half? There? Uh, just a, a mixture of different things. So, you know, you get them going and get them leaning one way and then uh, being able to come back the other way um, and, and just kind of use gets, use arms, use uh, use uh, Seavers. And, and, and just uh, we had justice going in the first half and, and just, uh, oh, my gosh, it's just, uh, you know, this, these games are fun. Second week in a row, you guys have had a come from behind win at the last second. What? Uh, how much confidence does this team have right now? Um, I think we know that we have a lot to work on. Um, you know, we talked about not uh, allowing some things to get to our heads and just kind of uh, just keep, keeping them pushing. And, 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 you know, I think some of that reality kind of uh, set in for them tonight. Um, and, you know, we'll be uh, ready to get working, uh, uh, whether it be New Haven or DeKalb that we got next week. And then last question, like he handed out, you know, last two weeks been pretty magical. What is it that makes this team so special? They just believe in each other. Um, you know, you look at every single one of them, they, they, they love each other, um, and, and they're, they're all about each other. Um, you know, that's what we preach on defense. We preach a gap sound defense that's just doing your responsibility and, and allowing the people that are unblocked to make a play. And we're running a, an option offense, you know, that's just like, hey, if they're going to take one thing away, there's going to be something else that's there. Um, and, and you know what? We, we're not worried about who's getting the limelight. Um, Instead, we're just worried about what the scoreboard says at the end. And I got 22 uh, seniors that lead well, lead effectively, um, and just uh, give us a, a, a great football team.